Hi, welcome to a completely new Arc Linux Hefter edition. As you see, it's called Arc Linux, but it's from a particular person on Discord. So go meet him and go ask how he built it. But I've just downloaded his um, ISO from YouTube. There is a link underneath YouTube where you can get a ISO from G Drive. It just makes me happy, super happy to share you this, this information. I mean, with Arcanlex B, build your own ISO, you can build any ISO you like. You have the system, you have a template, an ISO, Calamaris, and you build whatever you want. The thing in here is a choice, 15 choices, which desktop would you like to have? There's also an, an extended tutorial inside here in tutorials we've made extended it's a series it's it's like i don't know 15 30 videos you check it out it's all about how to build an iso all of these articles are so this is the result after of course he'll probably have other knowledge from of his own but it could be your result maybe not today but maybe tomorrow maybe in a month maybe in a year it really doesn't matter it's just an um, well a path of learning and you can have this as well. So this is still Arch Linux, well, it's still Arch Linux, and it's with Heftor's um, particular repos. Let's have a look. So let's investigate a little bit more. What is it? So pacman.conf, um, by the way, we're not gonna release this, right? This is, you need to make this yourself. It's created by Heftor here, and it's uh, only for after and we're not going to support it or anything or distribute it or anything. It's from him and it should be your own because he likes the, the, the themes you see. He likes the, the cursor, which is a pretty nice little cursor here, but also all the software of coding. As you see here, lots of things are in here. Strawberries in here, VLC. That's things maybe you won't install on your machine like this Zoom, etc, etc. So a lot, a lot of software has been chosen. It has been, he has turned around XFC ups, upside down, let's say, plank at the bottom, uh, which is actually, this is actually the normal look, but we've um, more or less gave it a look from, from uh, Windows, let's say, menu at the bottom is the, maybe the proper way to start coming from Windows. That was the idea. So here you have lots and lots and lots of software. Oh, sorry, the settings. I was in the settings. Um, you check it out what it has installed but you can install less you can install more it's all about choices and that is what we give with Linux b so he has created a, his own repo so that you have seen it's explained on articlenixiso.com how to create your own repos and for the rest it's all settings it's the config right etc scale let's have a look etc scale whatever is in here is gonna be on your particular um well creation of a user and when you go through the calamaris installation you name yourself eric and it's gonna go in this one uh, the content of etc scale is gonna go in home eric simple as that so stuff that's in here that he liked from article links other stuff that he don't don't doesn't want it I'm not sure if he needs cash here um, but copy paste of everything that you need you want your dot files as they call it dot config dot scale config files dot bash rc and so on um, so all the things he likes is in here which results that everything is in here as well okay that's the con the, the idea of why it's this scale is there so you get this um this system his own system and it's an awesome look and i'm very proud to see this because well anything is possible if I hope if you see this video that you say whoa I want to be there in a month two months in a year's time as well make my own ISO anyway I see fit so these are the icons so sorry the style is the Mac OS and the icons is Tela blue there's also Tela dark do not see anything happening here and there's papyrus as well etc etc and the styles, the arcs are here, but something special. So like this one, maybe we should have a look at this one. 
super shift enter well it's working so the keyboard shortcuts are there Control t is here uh, super f1 f2 f3 f4 so atom is not installed gimp is installing f5 f6 f7 virtual box is not installed well it would be strange to install virtual box on virtual box but here it is so it's all available whatever you want on your ISO you put in the packages file you go and watch some tutorials on articlinksb.com and you'll get it so proud to see this well done and um, may it inspire others